Hello there commanders and welcome to another episode of Total War Arena Battle Commentary. This time we have sort of a double feature as after this battle is uploaded the next one that is going to show up next week is going to be the very next battle that happened right after this and they both feature very similar themes or let's say the same scenario but flipped and two different outcomes. Uh, 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 I mean, that kind of spoils it, but whatever. <laughs> uh, it is going to be interesting to just look at it and analyze what happens. And, you know, as in every uh, video in this series, learn something about the game or get, reach some conclusions, etc. etc. So, I'm here on Changban together with Solkung and Cheddar. I am already encountering some repeating crossbows, so I'm countering them as my archers are the counter. Our cavalry has went into the forest, encountered some folksmen, probably hamstrung them. And now they're getting charged by cavalry, not a very good start for our team. But I have also already managed to wreck two units of repeating crossbows. Ferdon is hiding somewhere here in the forest, I couldn't get a hand of them. Because I never really saw them. But the two I saw, I did put a hand on. So I'm trying to finish them off, see if I can. Four soldiers, okay, they are nuked, so they're going to run away. I mean, shatter. Oh, another player of cavalry has managed to weigh, uh, go all the way around. Denying the healing, finishing off this unit, getting some recharges in here. But we are sort of facing the same predicament. As enemy cavalry is going to our healing zone, trying to deny our cavalry from healing. And possibly threaten my archer positions. So I'm focusing now on Folksmen as they are the softest target around that Sokong is holding uh, with his own Folksmen. So I need to be very wary of any friendly firing coming. So that's why I stop shooting as soon as he gets into some kind of a deep engagement. And now I get cavalry attention towards me. What happened to our cavalry? Did it run away or did it die? Um, it died. Great. They died to that cavalry that is now threatening our back. And I have only one unit of glaives protecting me and at least two units of cavalry hunting me, third one being in front and Leonidas also wanting to get on my bad side. So we are trying to squeeze ourselves out of this position. Cheddar turns around from the enemy phalanx, blocks the cavalry, enables a passage for me and luckily our cavalry spawns, gets charged, blocked uh, this cavalry off. But the enemy cavalry is still <laughs> relentlessly pulling through so I was getting close to Solkung, in case that happened, I'm splitting up as well. So if he charges me, I think he already used his charge as well. So anyway, in case he charges me, he can only charge one unit. Oh, there you go, now he uses Wrath of Mars. Kind of failed. And this unit should be finished off if I can <laughs> click on it, because it keeps teleporting all the, around the place. A is now already being contested, the cavalry is in. But it's now getting focused by the triple repeating crossbows. He must have respawned after being killed. And our cavalry also isn't very strong in here. Get killed by the repeating crossbows, but we have another player coming in. And he gets some good charges. Oh, this one is a nice one. The other two are kind of uh, just attack orders. Doesn't really charge at all. Oh, charged here a little bit. Well, his cavalry is in the best shape. He managed to route this unit for a while. But now the flank has changed. Oh, there we go. He converted the reflank again. And after we've dealt with the threats over here, we can now push towards A again. The healing is being denied by our cavalry, that's really nice. Foxman there should die anytime soon. Green crossbows are also disrupted and as soon as I get closer there, um, they wouldn't be a problem anyway. So I'm trying to finish off the enemy units that are trying to run away and get a heal. Making the job easier for our cavalry as well to finish them off. Um, yep, there we go. Another unit finished off. Still don't want to... Oh, he's in off, okay. So we just need to walk around him. He's not below 10 yet. Repeating crosses are being nicely pushed when I'm standing in place. There we go. Move forward, Miss. She's still being FK. Okay, getting a volley off on the repeating crossbows. In case they wanted to shoot our cover in the back. Ooh, but Foxman here either respawned or heal. They were denied, so now they will be looking to prevent us from getting A. So that's a perfect <clears throat> target for me. Come on, Mr. Where's your barrage? Get good, start shooting. Covering coming as well. 
We still have some infantry left to block that off and kind of equalize the fight. Another player of cavalry coming around. That is going to be difficult. Mr. Zanoop didn't use his barrage. He totally should have. Now he is using it on a very badly picked target, but whatever. Well, it is being contested, but the enemy is fighting gaps in our lines, pulling through, trying to get to me. Cheddar, last second charge, was that charge? Yeah, they do have charge. Yeah, he's playing swords, not glaives. I'm so used to him playing glaives, like what? They don't have a charge and he's playing things well. But he's playing swords. I managed to get a flank over here. He's in uh, Hoplite Phalanx of Fighting Shades, so I could have killed him. And the Foxmen are also cut down. And now A is going to flip. Our cavalry player here sacrifices himself, just keeps the enemy away from the point so that we can get it. We flip the point, so no healing anymore for our enemies. We prevent the cavalry from getting in. But it's still going to put up quite a lot of pressure on us. But we do have a healing zone now, very closely. And now the position, so as soon as we get rid of this cavalry, should be able to safely retreat while well, this glaive uh, player buys us some time. But let's look on the other side of the map. E has been captured by the enemy, but now they have given up on it. Oh, they all went back to heal, apparently. Now we're getting back, the cavalry is charging in. Our cavalry charged out, prevented them. Maybe we'll get a flip. There we get it. The cavalry is trying to pull through. Can they contest? Trying, 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 but our cavalry actually is doing a pretty good job at holding them in. Oh, they're really trying to pull through. They will get through eventually. There we go. Now they're contesting. Now they're not. Point is being captured now by four units, getting nice, but they get spears in. So now they are not going to be pushed out that easily. More and more spears are coming in. And yeah, our forces on this flank don't look so good. We are sending some cavalry towards C. We don't see past the bridge, obviously, so there might be some infantry hidden in there. They are hidden here below the uh, <clears throat> bridge in the water. A recovery player may be hunting down some archers. And in the meantime, uh, while all that happened, we healed up and now are pushing towards the enemy base. We are detected, though, uh, by this one that wasn't finished. So the enemy has knowledge that we are coming in here. But they're still fighting for E, while we have already entirely cleared the area uh, around A, including the second wave of reinforcements that came in there after uh, we captured the point. While our second wave of reinforcement has not been dealt with yet, so we are figuring out this kind of symmetric situation. We want the right flank, they want their right flank, and now both teams could be looking to, uh, to capture the opposite base. But since we were faster on that race, we decide, okay, let's go for the enemy base and they will need to go back and defend. The enemy rapid crossbows obviously pushed away, they can't face my archers, they cannot face the infantry either. Sokung is not chasing, there's no need to, he needs to stay inside the base and we already have 12 units capping it. And they have just now, well, 15 seconds ago, captured E, so they should be recalling. They should already be here, there we go, they are showing up. A little bit late on the decision making, but 15 units inside the base, and only three of them are ranged units. But the enemy folks were trying to make the way in here, they did. Three units inside the base defending, but it's still that doesn't matter. Uh, there's no decap um, mechanic anymore here, so it's not just they need to tag every unit with some uh, archers and it will be good. They need to match our numbers inside the base, which they fail to. And that's how the battle ends. So, you know, recognizing those patterns and making that decision um, to go for the new base because you realize, okay, we are faster on that race, we've cleared our flank, the way to the new base is way open, and the enemy is in the same situation, but he's slower. So let's just go capture their base, and if they come back, if they recall and push out, put push us out of their base, we should still be at an advantage given, you know, how the map looked, more or less. And also, on this map, um, base and C are very close to each other, so we could also cap C as we were treating, maybe, maybe not. We don't have to because we just won. So there we go. I think that was an interesting battle, an interesting lesson for all, all of you. 
dear viewers as well. You can help us bring the war arena back to the west. You already know what to do to do that. So, I'll see you on Arena's Battlefields, Commanders.